All right, guys, so Kyle McCord enters the portal, and this is a sign that Ryan Day in Ohio State, gosh, it's probably, like, Kyle McCord, I like Kyle McCord. He's a Philly kid. He's tough. Um, I think that he got ragged on by a lot of people earlier in the season, and he showed great signs of progress throughout the back half of the year. That Ohio State offense at times looked like it had in the past with Justin Fields and even C.J. Stroud at times, like that Michigan State game against Maryland. Kyle McCord found his footing. He is a big le- he's a big time quarterback that's played at a, at, a, at a high level at Ohio State. Okay, now Kyle McCord has you know plus arm strength. He can thread it into tight windows. He is just not. He is just not a great how should we say it, improviser, or his game is not extending plays. So, you know, Ohio State, Kyle McCord is like a B to a B-plus quarterback, and he's going to fit in a lot of places. And the thing is, like, people look at maybe like a Will Howard or Will Rogers and guys that have put up, like, maybe better stats and who've actually won conference championships. These guys on the portal are going to be valued higher, I believe, than than Kyle McCord. But Kyle McCord, I believe, is a sleeper. I believe that for, like, maybe 80 to 85% of programs, he's going to be their He could be their starter, and he can be damn good. I look at a program like Nebraska, a program that has never really had a steady quarterback um, really for multiple years in a long time, and, and a program that has just been uh, a program that has just had quarterback play that has been incredibly shaky. And now on the roster, I mean, you have Harburg, Chubba Purdy, Kyle McCord could step in and be a guy immediately at Nebraska can immediately emerge. And I look at Kyle McCord, and I believe he even has more arm talent than, say, a Will Rogers or even a Will Howard. So um, I believe that just because it's Ohio State, people are going to hold against Kyle McCord that he had, you know, Marvin Harrison, that he had Ibuka, that he had all these weapons, that he had Ryan Day, and that he followed in the footsteps of one of the greatest quarterbacks ever to come through Ohio State, two of the greatest, in Justin Fields and C.J. Stroud. So Kyle McCord's going to be a very solid get on the open market. You know, I view programs that are like, Right on the cusp, not not completely contenders, but on the cusp of being a contender. I think like this year at Auburn, if Kyle McCord could be even more consistent than a Peyton Ford now, would be interesting, except Hugh Freeze probably likes mobile quarterbacks. A lot of these teams like mobile quarterbacks, but even a team like, like UCLA, Dante Moore leaves UCLA, not that great of quarterback play from the freshman. I see... I see Kyle McCord being a good fit with Chip Kelly at like at like a UCLA. I see a possibility of like even Arizona State because you have Jaden Rashado's, you know, injury prone quarterback who's very young. Kenny Dillingham needs a stable, stable backup, and Drew Pine wasn't that backup. Kyle McCord could compete for a starting job at like an Arizona State. Um I mentioned Nebraska, Iowa, Wisconsin, every team in the Big Ten West, I believe Kyle McCord would start for, Minnesota he'd start for. There's going to be a robust market for Kyle McCord, even though Kyle McCord didn't win the Michigan game, and even though he didn't take the team to the playoff, he was still one drive away, and he had a very clutch drive at Michigan. He had a clutch drive at Michigan to make that, a three-point game with eight minutes to go. And if the defense played better, you could be talking about Ohio State going to the playoff and it being a lot different case scenario, okay? So I don't think it's an offense to Kyle McCord. 
I just believe that Ohio State is going to get in like a five-star quarterback. You're talking about Cam Ward. You're talking Dante Moore. You're talking guys that are NFL first round, you know, capabilities. Or you're talking about like a Riley Leonard. I guess Riley Leonard is NFL first round. Or you're talking about a quarterback that is just so good at the college level and Dylan Gabriel that is like in the mold of a, shall we say, like a Stetson Bennett type. You could win a championship with a Stetson Bennett and he'd be a mid-round NFL quarterback. Uh, But Dylan Gabriel's been a stud, been a top seven quarterback. So it's not an offense to Kyle McCord. Kyle McCord, again, like I said, you have to view him for who he is as a player. He's, He's been under Ryan Day and under Heartline. He has a ton, a ton of intelligence um, and especially football IQ from learning from these guys. He's really good for a young for a coach in year two of their program to stabilize it, elevate it. Um, if you have a young freshman quarterback that 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 McCord can, you know, again mentor and then pass the reins to. It's exactly kind of how you want to build your program. You want to have a solid quarterback, and then you want to have a star quarterback as a freshman to build your program. So that's what I believe about McCord. I view him higher than a lot of other people are going to view him, and we'll see what his NIL market's going to be. All righty, guys. There we go.